Hi, my name is Rosalie Hacker, and today I will be giving a performance review of When We Were Young and Unafraid performed at Blackfriars, and how this show was very impactful and portrayed a lot of emotion to its audience. I just saw it tonight, and I'm still feeling a lot, so I have a lot to talk about that I think is uh, important for the context of the show. So the show is about um, a woman named Agnes who opens up part of her bread and back part of her bread and bed and breakfast um, to bring in battered women and the show particularly follows one woman named Marianne who comes one day and they let her into the show uh, into her um, space to heal while she's trying to get back on her feet um, it's very emotional right off the bat when you have this mother-daughter relationship and then you have the the woman come in and you can see her bruise um and you know that she's being taken in and she's being taken care of but this woman has been through a lot she's not ready to talk to agnes at first it takes her some time takes her some warming up and then finally over time and at the climax she finally states everything that happened to her with her husband so overall i think that i was very emotionally hit by this as a woman and I know that the other two girls I was with I, at the end we all felt this genuine connection to the characters and it felt really good and it was a really awesome theater experience because a lot of shows just make you laugh it's really hard and very special to have a show that makes you cry like that so the first thing uh, I'm going to talk about is the direction the direction I thought was really good um, but there were some blocking choices that I didn't understand why. There were some parts where, um, I know that when Penny was in the front and she was talking to her mom and she had her back towards the audience for a good chunk of, of that scene and I didn't understand why they wouldn't have her walking around. Um, but that might have just been because of their performance night. But then again, Blackfriars, um, has seating on angles and so it's not just... Um, a front-facing proscenium stage. Um, but besides that, I thought the direction was really good. The characters had a lot of emotion. They didn't overact. They didn't seem like they were faking being sad, um, especially Marianne. Her ending scenes with just weeping and crying, I thought was had a lot of impact and added a lot of emotion to a scene that could have just cut off at a blackout. Um, so that felt good, and it also felt more immersive because of the scene and because of the costumes and so we know that this show takes place in the 70s it takes place before roe v wade and um the scene set the set itself looked really good it looked like a home uh one po thing i want to point out that really blew me away was the working sink i've never seen a working sink on a set before so to see that in action just Blew, blew my mind because I thought that I've seen some pretty cool sets that I've never seen a working sink on a set but it looked really genuine having lighting outside um, of the windows that changed during the scenes to show that it was day or night was a really cool detail um, and even if you were on a certain side of the set you could see into the stairs or see into um, the door that goes outside it's it's cool that Blackfriars puts some detail into the little tiny things you'd only see a little crap of stuff. So I like that. Another part of the immersion was the costumes. Um, I thought it was, it, I'm just not used to seeing like bell bottom jeans, but that was really cool to see um, them incorporate the 70s style, especially when Penny has her little dress on and she goes to um, see Tommy. And that was very, it was very retro. So it definitely didn't feel like they were cheesy costume choices. It seemed like they were very genuine from the era costumes. Uh, so the next part I'm going to talk about is the lighting design. So I really like the lighting design. And one thing that I would like to say that really impressed me, and this is just like a little thing, but having the timing of when the actors hit the switch and the... Um, and the lights turning on was awesome. Like, great job on the stage manager for calling those cues because it's kind of hard to see them when they actually hit the switch, but they got the timing with the click of the light perfectly. Um, but yeah, that was, I thought that was really cool. Instead of just like letting the room and people walk in waiting for the actors to actually hit the switch, also made it feel a lot more real and not just 
a, a you watching a performance. Um, and like I said before, the lighting outside of the window to show whether it was day or night was a really cool detail added. Um, but yeah, I thought the lighting design was, was really well done. There was something that was too dark, um, and there's something that was overly lit. It definitely made sense for every scene and the amount of intensity that the characters had and if they wanted all the lights on or if they were trying to be, um, more discreet at night. And, um, I know that Blackfriars isn't, doesn't have a big stage or anything, so they didn't need microphones. I thought that the sound was really good. It reminded me of... Um, a previous show I had seen when they used uh, music for, or sorry, agency. For agency, they used music to transition between every scene. Um, and even Super Fucking Bird had music in it, and it reminded me of that. And I think that's a really good way to alleviate the awkwardness of a set transition or when the crew comes and takes things on and off. So I really like the music being added in between. Um, that felt like it was a very smooth transition from scene to scene. Um, with all of these things put together, I think that it made for a very smooth performance. I think that the acting was incredible, the way they showed their frustration, their sadness, their anger. It was so good. I think that especially Marianne did an amazing job of going from a scared, very nervous person to feeling more confident, to bubbly, to wanting to help out, to just being broken again. Um... I thought that Hannah was the best character because she's just the comic relief that the show needed. Um, not that the, not that any show needs comedy, but she added a bunch of funny elements to it that made us remember that it's not all sad. There can be happiness in these situations. Um, so I definitely think that she she was the the favorite of the show. Um, and then Agnes and Penny too. Penny is just, you know, feeling, trying to figure out the world at 16. I think she knows what's best for her. And I didn't see the part where you find out she's adopted at all. I didn't know that that was coming. Um, and so that was also very impactful. I didn't have many expectations of the show. And I didn't do much research past just looking up who the author was the writer of the show and so I'm happy that I came in with little knowledge because it was more it felt a lot more of it had an impact on me not having known anything just watching the show play out feeling everything for the first time felt like the right way to see this show so I would recommend people go see it I really enjoyed it um it definitely made me have a lot of feelings towards feminism and and other aspects that women go through and um i hope everybody gets to see this show at some point so that's my production review thanks for watching